back to the Nerd Cauldron. I am Lyric. I'm Sam. I'm Michaela. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to be playing a game called Chicken Police Painted Red. <laughs> um, I have been dying to play this game. Um, I have no idea what to expect other than it's kind of an RPG. Um, dead men are heavier than broken hearts. <laughs> and I do have the subtitles on, so. I ran out to get a pack of cigarettes. Oh my but god. I left my wallet at home. Ah, oh, shucks. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> you know. My name is Sonny. Sonny Featherland. I love this already. An investigator for 20 years. And once the star of the predatory division of the Clawville Police Department. <laughs> One half of the legendary this hyper realistic police. chicken. I love this so much. A pack of smokes He's so serious. I right now. Maybe I should just lay low. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> the most colorful place in the wilderness. For all the gods, what bullshit. <laughs> the last clucking color left this city years ago. And slowly I'll turn gray too. Oh my god. I'm invested already. <laughs> right? <laughs> Holy crap. Still, what do I This expect? is fantastic. <laughs> We're living in a vast experiment and don't even notice that everything got clucked up a long time ago. Got even clucked even up. <laughs> peaceful coexistence. It's very like L.A. Noir. Yes, and right? I love it. Yeah, sure. Why not? He's so it's hard boiled. The dog eats the chicken. <laughs> it's in our nature. I'm not propping up the illusion anymore. 121 days, and it's over. Retirement. Oh, please, you ain't gonna make it. <laughs> could possibly go wrong uh, famous oh, last no. words <laughs> clawville city <gasps> oh an antelope ah oh, crap my office lock is a piece of shit if a dame can pick it a dame <laughs> the light painted stripes on her body it whispered secret little things that were never there in the first place. But she was no zebra. Jesus Christ. Reality was just a light switch away. Elizabeth or Charlotte. I was sure she'd have a sophisticated sounding name. She had a bygone look in her eyes. Older than this ancient building. And perhaps the whole city itself. Good Lord. Or maybe I'm just drunk. <laughs> But she was the first womanly thing in my place for a long time. So I had to give her a chance. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he thirsts. <Wow. laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hang on, let me lose my shit for a second. <laughs> no women pay me attention, so gotta give this one a go. <laughs> oh my god. What should I investigate first? I'm gonna let you guys be my eyes and ears. Oh, Lord. Maybe we talked like, about the light switch. I guess okay. you could start there. Oh. Uh, Old art, a painful this memory. Is, uh, this is one of the most beautiful memories from my old life. Before Molly left me and took our daughter. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Oh. The wild gentleman. Those guys rebuilt the city after the great fire of 867. My heroes when I was a little I wonder chick. what year it is now. I'm starting to think <laughs> they should have left Clawville as it was. Oh, it said that, didn't the it? Ground. We used to be star cops a few years ago. Tabloid press, radio interviews, and even a book series. I don't miss those days. Of course, Marty, my old partner, would disagree. He just loved the spotlight. <laughs> I'm an investigator. I'm just letting you guys know I'm gonna click on everything. <laughs> I'm I'm like that. I drive Brian Andy crazy Davis, when we play together. <laughs> the eternal king of jazz. 
The photo is from the days of Jazz Prohibition. Jazz Prohibition? Prohibition? Wow. <laughs> I'll never forget that night. And not only because I woke up at the harbor without my gun, my badge, and my pants. Damn, they did a great <laughs> job with the voice acting. Also, that is a rodent playing the trumpet. How? It's a beaver. <laughs> His teeth. Okay. The good things in life don't last long. The best ones always leave first. I saw that in the window of a shoe store. I never understood it. Or what it had to do with shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what should I click on next? Uh, Got the cabinet. Cheap we can just go around the room. Start okay. with the cabinet, keep going. Sure. I don't even know where the key is. Whatever's inside is gonna stay there forever. <laughs> Isn't this his office? Oh, he's so dramatic. Um, bedroom door. The wilderness. I wanted to travel the world when I was a kid, but I think I'm gonna end up dead in here whether I like it or not. Okay. Uh, so dramatic. <laughs> Old books. Books I'm never gonna read. Maybe <clears throat> nobody ever has. <laughs> Jesus. They were oh. there when I moved in and they'll be there when I leave. <laughs> Right? Uh, let's do the drawer. My wallet badge. and my badge. The wallet is real. The badge ain't. Chief Blood Boil <laughs> took mine. So I got this one out of a pack of cornflakes. He's not even it's actually a cop. <laughs> it doesn't seem so dangerous that I need to grab my gun, but you never know. I'll always be prepared. My last my cigarette? Last cigarette. <laughs> You're lucky I don't have a light, pal. Oh, I'm actually talking to the cigarette. Uh, wilderness. Is there anything on the desk? Uh, typewriter, cheap whiskey, and pile of papers. And phone. <laughs> I promised so myself typewriter. I'd write a novel one day. You won't even you read books. You won't even read books. <laughs> whiskey has the same color nowadays. At least in this price range. I don't even know what these papers are. <laughs> Is this even <laughs> your room? <laughs> Behind that door lies the kingdom of dirty clothes, cigarette butts, and empty bottles. I like how the chief's probably just standing there like, what the fuck is he doing? Yeah. <laughs> oh. You can call somebody. Okay. She's like, are you seriously going to take a call while me standing here? Okay, let's look at her inventory. Ooh, uh, the notebook is the detective's best friend. Here, you gather vital information about the case, the suspects or victims, and the locations you will visit. How does it work? Click on any text or picture in your notebook to read the translated version in your language. Interesting. So, hotel... It used to be a nice place. Now we're competing to see who gets swallowed by the cave first. The hotel's winning, but honestly, I'm not that far behind. Also, I'm going to read everything like this. <laughs> uh, that's a lot. Won't read it. Um, <laughs> cool. I guess let's talk to the lady. Yep. Yeah, let's talk to her. Let me introduce myself. My name is Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Ibanez. You're mistaken, ma'am. What? <laughs> um, get <what>? out! <laughs> oh, really? Please enlighten me, Mr. Featherland. I thought it said Featherhead, and I was like, that's an insult. <laughs> I'm not a private eye. I'd recommend Philip... M uh, I mean, Mr. Philmar Lowe instead of me. He's a nice guy. Believe me, <laughs> Mr. Featherland, it's not an accident I came to you. This feels weird. <laughs> Look, miss, I work for the police and I'm currently on leave. I couldn't accept private commissions even if I wanted to. Not even from a classy dame like you. <laughs> Am I that easy to read? Oh my god. <laughs> 
That's my job. But tell me, since you've invited yourself in, would you like a drink? I don't... Oh, my. I don't usually drink. Oh, do you? Well, I've got to have one. <laughs> wow. And it'd be rude of me to drink alone. So, maybe some sherry? If you insist. <laughs> but bourbon, please. Ah, thank the wild ones. That's all I have. She came in here before you were even in here. Do you think that she looked through your alcohol already, man? What a coincidence. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, coincidence. Spill it from the beginning. Why does everything they say sound sexy? <laughs> I know. He's so sexy aggressive. And dramatic. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess she told me what's going on in the notebook. All right, Deborah. Should you see it? Ibanez, I Ibanez. I don't remember. Ibanez, uh, yeah. Impala, <laughs> female. Nothing too special. Not pretty too and fragile. <laughs> <laughs> she runs errands for her employer. A sophisticated lady, but I don't think she's from a particularly wealthy or influential family. Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the the wild ones are their gods. That's pretty cool. Uh, so do we have to talk to her again? What's um, what's happening? My, oh, this is my inventory. Your inventory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here you will store all the essential <laughs> items throughout the case. My gun, my cigarette, my last lone cigarette, <laughs> and your fake badge. We're gonna Who look you up and down anyway. And what the cluck is she doing in my apartment <laughs> on New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve, interesting. I guess we're speaking That's again. That's better. Now, if I understand correctly, your that mistress feels weird. is receiving threats. What kind of threats, exactly? Oh, your mistress! <laughs> it's a very strange matter. We know what you do, lady. First, there were letters. Then it came printed on a wine bottle's label, sent as a gift. Then carved into a brick, thrown through the window. And finally, they painted it on the wall of the house in giant red Wow, letters. they just got sloppy as they went along, huh? <laughs> I think it's time to dig a little <gasps> deeper. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you some routine questions. Please, that's why I'm here. Uh, I don't like how she said that, please. <laughs> please. Oh. She just creeps me out in general. The human arms with the body is just a lot. So it's not just <laughs> me? <laughs> the victim, a lady, is the target of some strange <clears throat> threats. All of them are written! Wow. Okay. <laughs> so... This is the part where the interrogation comes, like in those detective movies. Are you really gonna try and spell it out to me, a cop? Something <laughs> like that, Deborah. Yes. <laughs> How rude! You're calling her Deborah, not by her last name. Okay, oh. so yeah, yeah. There's a new button to click. <laughs> Focus on what you know about the suspect. Is he or she suspicious? <laughs> yeah. Concentrate on that. <laughs> <laughs> John Doe, this fella is rather suspicious. I need to concentrate on that. Focus on suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay. Is he suspicious? I am suspicious. <laughs> Why are you suspicious? <laughs> oh this is the best game ever. <laughs> Gather impressions from the suspect. Every impression adds a new question line. Okay. Interesting. So many options. This is the perfect game. <laughs> <laughs> Detective meter is your best friend. It shows how well the questioning is going. Keep it on the positive side, okay? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I like that. Cool. You must be cautious. And oh my god. <laughs> This dame seems shy, which I can use to my advantage. But I must be careful about what I say to her, or I can scare her off. Let's start gently, and when the time comes, 
We can go in hard. Oh my. <laughs> I'm not going to say nothing. I'm just going to laugh. <laughs> Whoa. All right. I'm going to let you guys also uh, help me make my opinions because I don't want to, like, we're in this as a team. Who All exactly right. are you? Who exactly are you, ma'am? I'm, I'm not somebody important, Mr. Featherland. Mm-hmm. You're important enough to deal with such a delicate matter, right? I carry out the wishes of my employer, nothing more. This means simple paperwork, most of the time. You've been thrown into deep water, sweetheart. Yeah, that's can rude! You, can you even swim? <gasps> Believe wow. me, this is just as unpleasant for me if not even more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we have two new questions. You're not very confident. Are you sure you're all right? Or tell me, which part of the city do you live in? Calavera Hills or Flowerville, maybe? She's shy and doubtful. We're on a good side right now. So I feel like pointing out that she's not confident is not going to help. Mm. But I don't know. But okay. I don't want to sound like a creeper either. Well, if we ask which part of the city she lives in, maybe that can help point us in the direction of where the crimes are happening. That's fair. Yeah. So this one? Yeah, yeah I think that's good. Tell me, which part of the city do you live in? Calavera Hills? Oh, I said it right. Flowerville, maybe. <laughs> Look, I... I don't want to answer ah! that. Oh. Oh, career, that's fair. And not on personal business. Damn it. Fair point, Deborah. Let's try a different approach. <laughs> Stop playing the frightened prey, sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not that one. Probably not that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why did you... We already know that, though. I guess let's just... Well, do... He did say it's New Year's Eve, so he might mean, like, why New oh, Year's Oh, like, Eve. on New Year's yeah. Eve. Okay, so this one? Yeah. Yeah. Why did you have to visit me this particular evening? I have my reasons. I may look like a silly little fawn. You do. Maybe I am, but I still have common <laughs> sense. Do ya? I don't doubt that for a second, Miss Ibanez. Ibanez, okay. This day is essential to my mistress, <laughs> and she thought it's also important to you. Oh, is that so? <laughs> a message in itself, for sure. But to be honest, even you are. Ooh, uh, I don't <laughs> like how much flirting is happening. Uh, right? <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> you know what? I'll just take that as a compliment, even if it wasn't meant as such. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh huh. Okay. Uh. Do I click this? I can't click that. Okay. So we're still on the good side. Do you even know what you want? Were you born and raised in Clawville? Why did you come visit me? Why not your employer herself? I'd mm. probably go with that one. Yeah, I go with the third one. Okay. Why did you come to visit me? Why not your employer herself? My employer is Miss Natasha Katsenko. I'm gonna guess she's a cat. Her home lately, only if she really has to. <laughs> is that racist in this game? <laughs> How so? <gasps> she is a cat. Oh. Okay, sorry, I got excited. <laughs> Miss Natasha is afraid. She's scared because of those unwanted messages. <gasps> is she a little scaredy cat? She is. <laughs> so she's. That kind of woman. Oh my god. Whoa. I don't know what you mean. Fucking judgmental. <laughs> Seriously. Course, Deborah. Thank you, by the way. We're finally getting somewhere. We avoided the point long enough. Deborah's hiding something, no question. No, Let's really? Focus on that. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? <laughs> Your beady little chicken eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Uh. So we're trying to get Ooh. confrontational. So I do. We want to go straight for it, or 
Do we want to be coy about um, it? I wonder why it's like doing that. Like, yeah, I know. Oh, it changes. It's cycling through them. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so how to get this address? Not intentional. What do you want from me? It feels very confrontational. Um, yeah. I would, one I of like the middle the two, one, I would say. But... Sorry, what? I said I like the second one. Because it's like yeah. confrontational, but it's also like trying to get to the next answer, I guess. Okay, sure. Fair. What exactly mm. did you expect by coming here to meet me? I mean, he everything he says makes him sound like a jerk anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just like my mistress said. Oh, well, that's very oh. nice. But have you seen this neighborhood? Have you seen this wreck called a hotel? Who were you hoping to find in a place like this? A slut. Reliable. <laughs> well, oh. I am reliable. Someone who works off the books. And discreet. Right. The hat! There we go. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's right. And thorough. Whoa. That You're looking at me with them doe eyes. <laughs> and no thorough. And has a heart of gold. All right, all right. You're laying it okay. Okay, let's stop. Yep, right. yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, that uh, was useless. Um, I would say some sort of jam. Because the other yeah, ones. Yeah, probably. We want to, do we want to take this case? I feel like we should. <laughs> but should we? Because we're off the clock. I mean, that's the whole point of the game, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Um. Uh, 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 uh. Let's do this one. Yeah. Are you in some sort of jam? No, she's in jelly. Nothing of the sort. There are simply things better left unsaid. Then you're wasting my time. Sony gets me. It's Sunny. I said Sony. <laughs> I instincts. You'll manage it. Yeah, and I have no other choice, right? To be honest, no, Mr. Featherland. You got a gun in that purse, lady? <laughs> right? Whoa. Don't you think this whole thing's a little suspicious? Or have you ever felt truly vulnerable? What what, what is that suggesting? That's right? <laughs> I know. It just keeps getting creepier. Right? <laughs> Give me them pearls, lady. <laughs> I guess let's go with the not creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you think this whole thing is a little suspicious? Look, Santino. I'll explain everything. Is my name Santino? I can't remember. <laughs> it's Sunny Santino? Maybe oh, Sunny Sun Short? Maybe Sunny's, yeah, my nickname. I have no doubt about that. You look just the type, sweetheart. No offense. Sweetheart! <laughs> that was super long. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Or maybe I'll act like I haven't heard it. How? Your ears are so gigantic, Jeez. you can hear everything. <laughs> You see, we're starting to understand each other. Uh -huh. uh, if you won't come clean, what's the point of all of this? That one? <laughs> I think so, too. I mean, why not? If you won't come clean, what's the point of all this? But, Mr. Featherland... I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I'm way too old for this game. Please, just think again. For me and my mistress's sake. Uh, okay. Oh, we lost 40 points! Oh, we lost. Oh, wow. Damn. Tell me, Deborah, why should I believe you at all? Because We're still on the good side, though. You. Who and why? Should that be enough? <laughs> if you really like what she thinks you are, then yes. Damn, what can I say to that? <laughs> this is making me <laughs> <laughs> Look, I didn't mean to back you up against the wall. Yeah, you did, sweetheart. <laughs> God. You have a way with words, sweetheart. <laughs> there it is. I don't want to be a cop. No, not for the world. <laughs> Smart answer. Jesus Christ. Okay, ten points. 
Be honest and tell me what you're so afraid of. You know, Mr. Featherland, my mistress's partner Now we're getting is somewhere. Hobart Wessler, or as most people know him. Dot dot dot. Ibn Wessler, the kingpin. <gasps> Ooh. Suddenly we're in a DC comic. No, Marvel. Ah, I lost geek points. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, he's a rat or is he a cat? He looks like he's definitely a rodent. Yeah, it looks very weasely. Can you Feathery me? gods! <laughs> so you get it now. The secrecy. <laughs> to put it mildly, I think I understand it all. Wessler. This little piece of the puzzle changes everything. Oh! We're a decent cop! Hey! Yay! We're decent! <laughs> Woo! That's a that's a very good grade for our first attempt. All right, Great. that's how you do it, partner. Not quite like old times, but you still got it. The old rooster still remembers some tricks. Eh. Um, I love how it gives you the option to redo the interrogation. <laughs> like we want to waste time. Um, <laughs> the employer Natasha's current significant other is the infamous gangster Ibn Wessler. Ooh, significant other. Excuse me, I burped. Um. Oh, let's check out our info. The mysterious messenger, Miss Deborah Ibanez, employer is a certain Miss Natasha Kitzinko. Ibn Wesler. Um, <laughs> is he a rat? Yeah. I can't look at the photo. <laughs> or something. He's either a rat or a sword. ferret. He's a rat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I smelled a rat. I'm going Which to make all of the puns playing this. <laughs> That makes a terrible criminal. Uh, <laughs> and a clucking gangster! <laughs> no. One of the most Jesus. well known gangsters of Clawville. Real estate mogul, bank director, museum owner, distiller, smuggler, comma, and informa information broker. And that's only the half of what I've heard about him. He has his dirty little paws everywhere in the city's underworld. That sounds racist. Jesus. <laughs> Let's look up Natasha. Felis Catus. Not a domesticus? Um, remarkably green eyes. And she's definitely in trouble. <gasps> so am I. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> She's the employer of Miss Deborah, alleged she's received serious threats. Current girlfriend explains a lot of things. Uh, so this is everything that we found out in the investigation. Yeah. Right. Um, it bothers me when I see exclamation points on stuff, so I'm clicking everything just to get rid of them. <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> cool. So these are our clues. Ibn Wesler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, and I guess we'll keep speaking to her. Why don't you take it to the police? Just go there and file a report. Photos, flashing lights, fingerprints, you know the drill. The evidence is very clear. Even a moderately talented detective could easily wrap this case up. Moderately talented? <laughs> triple five, triple one. Please, take a look at this. <gasps> It gets deeper. Well, okay. Let's see. What's happening? We're looking oh. at... Huh? I know Molly very well. Please note this when deciding whether or not to accept my assignment. Miss Ibanez is a trusted friend. Treat her as a gentleman. In. Oh, shit. Very well. Oh. I guess I didn't have to read it. <laughs> whether or not to accept my assignment. <gasps> Miss Ibanez is a trusted friend. Treat her as gentleman. N. Oh so my now we're god! Being threatened by her boss. I love her, and I haven't even met her. Hang on, I want to look at this. <laughs> Ever since I've been on furlough, with only my fake badge sitting in my cabinet, I feel more like a cop than I ever had before. More like a Clawville <laughs> cop, anyway. Oh my god. I Believe felt that like be. I'd been hit on the back of my head <laughs> with a blackjack. Reality tilted. Molly. Good gods. What was her name doing there? 
I glanced at the opposite wall with the well-worn picture frames, like an eternally dark hole in the wall, oh a my missing God. piece. She was wearing a light silk dress and singing a lullaby, the waves caressing her beautiful long legs. Why Molly? Why now? The, it's hysterical that the chicken's a leg man. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Featherland? Oh, I'm so shocked! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Santino, are you alright? What the hell is this supposed to mean? Look at him! He's so... <laughs> I know! He's so I don't serious. Know anything, Mr. Santino. My mistress told me to give this to you. She said you'd understand. Don't you? Oh, of course I understand, Miss Ibanez. I get it very well. But this case is becoming more and more confusing. It's starting to look like blackmail. Blackmail? What did I just say? Don't what? play innocent right. with me. But... All right. When can I visit? Visit? Me? No, dipshit! Not you. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. You can find her at the Czar Club. Didn't you tell me she's not the social kind? That she's especially unsociable? Or does she only like loud and crowded clubs? No, <laughs> she's really not like that. But she owns the place. Oh! Judging by the flyer, it must be a very busy club. Especially on New Year's Eve, right? I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding Miss Katsenko. But there's... One small problem, Mr. Featherland. Let me guess. Mr. Wessler better not know about my visit. Exactly. How did you know? Because I'm not a dumbass, Deborah! <laughs> 20 years experience, ma'am. Oh, and please, call me Sonny. Because Mr. Featherland it sounds like an amusement park. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pleasure to meet you, Mr. I mean, Sonny. <gasps> Ooh. I'll Sorry. talk about the rest with Ms. Katsenko in person. A good friend of mine would be happy to take you home if you'd like. I'd appreciate that, Sonny. Bunny! Oh. It's a bunny! <laughs> New personal information. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Lewis! Lewis C. Hayworth is a rabbit. An old friend of mine. He's a stutter... He's studying heavily... <laughs> Yeah, that. <laughs> As I demonstrate what the sentence says, he is stuttering heavily when he talks. God. <laughs> Lewis is the owner of the once reputable Atlas Hotel and a good friend of mine. At the moment, he's my landlord. It's the only two of us living in this unbelievably enormous hotel. He's crazy about detective stories, and he gladly helps me whenever I ask him. Oh, that's nice of him. And that's his number. Cool. Um. Does that mean we have to call him? Uh, I don't. Maybe. The Czar Club. Natasha must know my way. Molly somewhere. Perhaps she's very good at informants. I must find out where the connection is. <laughs> cool. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Nine, three, two. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Oh. Uh, just, yeah, go ahead and try that again. <laughs> there we go. Okay, cool. I was like, do I have to click something to actually call? <laughs> hey, Lewis. Am I bothering you? He sounds nice. Could you come over? I've got a favor to ask if you're not busy. For you, anything. Just a minute. <laughs> I Aww. like Lewis already. <laughs> right? Lewis arrived. Oh my god. Funny. <laughs> so it wasn't difficult getting here. Not to mention that he's a rabbit. It was a quick hop. <laughs> the Atlas Hotel was his inheritance. It was once a well renowned place, but not anymore. The last economic crisis ruined it, 
And now, besides me, he was the only resident of this enormous place. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe she should turn it into an apartment complex instead. Let's the look him up and down. Rabbit. I can always count on him, even on New Year's Eve. <laughs> okay. Thanks for being so quick, Lewis. Can you drive Miss Ibanez home? Oh, he's I have so some well dressed. To take care of. Yes, he is. He's very sweet. He's got gloves on, which is kind of shady, but <laughs> <laughs> it is New Year's Eve, so it's probably cold. Of course, Sonny. <clears throat> you know anything for you. Thank you for being so considerate, Sonny. I appreciate it. I will kill you if anything happens to Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mention it. Goodbye, then. So long, Deborah. Before I visit the club, I have to take a detour. I've got a feeling that this case isn't going to be a one-man job. And there's <gasps> only one bird in the city I can trust. My ex-partner, Marty. Ah! He's going to be at the station. Mm -hmm. I can only hope... He'll be willing to talk to me. We're getting a partner, guys! Ooh. So, um, we're gonna leave it there. Um, the next time we come in, we're gonna hopefully visit the Czar, uh, Czar Club. That's very hard to say for me for some reason. <laughs> and, uh, find out what station. is going on with Natasha Katsenko. <laughs>